Hello everyone, welcome back to our seventh weekly video regarding the same unit, the field of geography. Now, in our uh, video, we're going to focus on um, the function and use of various innovative tools like GIS and GPS, and we're going to talk about remote sensing. And now, in relation to innovative um, tools and advancements in uh, regard to the field of geography, we're going to explore the use and function of GIS. We're going to discuss and might not the differentiation between GIS and a lot of innovative tools at the same time. The concept of vocabulary are going to be very related. Again, we're going to study the contribution of a lot of um, you know geographers and scholars in the Middle Ages too. And we're going to uh, move on to a classroom engagement task that has to do with contributing um the the how the, the contribution of technology to the field of geography the positive negative impacts and we're going to brainstorm um through basically the use of canva or powerpoints and according to the task we're going to move on to a gis quiz define again gis what is it and what are the major components of gis we're going to um represent it through visual representation we're going to have the names of layers of the GIS itself and you know the components of it generally and we're going to think about the importance of it on our society and accordingly we're going to move on again to challenging questions so what are the primary functions and capabilities of GIS and what is the fundamental purpose and concept behind uh, GIS itself second part of our uh, basically, it is going to be about remote sensing. So if, again, we're going to study and go deeply into the function and use the concept, and we're going to discuss the major characteristics of remote sensing and its contribution to the field of geography through a collective task, um, studying the positive impacts, negative impacts, the function, specifically in the various uses of remote sensing in various basically groups. And we're going to move on to remote sensing quiz, true and false questions. Again, we're going to add to our bare knowledge and we're going to conclude the answers at the end and we're going to draw our own conclusions when it comes to the concept of remote sensing, its use, and even function. And to conclude our knowledge when it comes to remote sensing, we're going to answer very challenging questions. So what is remote sensing and how does it actually differ from direct observation methods? And how does remote sensing contribute to our understanding of environmental changes in conservation efforts? And can you think of examples where indisciplinary collaboration enhances the effectiveness of remote sensing uh, applications?